model is a mustard seed. Then nurture it, water it, grow it into that tree in your rainforest. We will be highlighting one of the prevalent social issues in our society. and by people that are strangers. Oh God, help our children the truth to know who has bewitched these ignorant folk as parents, godparents, and important figures in our children's lives. It is our job and responsibility to help our kids understand and listen to the word. They are a gift from God, and it is our duty to help them recognize why they are so important. Don't allow the devil and the world swallow these gifts, whether they are biological or not. Be on the watch. Let us all embark on this mission of rescuing these young ones. We'll be right back. Welcome to Our Reality with Sky. On today's episode, we'll be talking the boy child, the girl child. Mm -hmm. The excerpt I just read was written by Mrs. T.T. Amabel. It's inspiring, mm -hmm. it's empowering, it is thought provoking. Guess what? She's on the show with us today. Oh. Welcome, Madame. Thank you very much. What inspired that? As a mother. Mm. Each day I wake up, mm. I take a deep breath and thank God for another day. Then I consider the gift of my children in my life. I began to see that they all have different signature. They behave differently. It was even easier when they were growing, when they were smaller. Now that they are beginning to make choices in life. We have more problems when it comes to, I don't want you to do this. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. They say, no, this is how I feel. Mommy, listen to me. Mm. Mommy, listen to me. I say, listen to you. But I'm your mother. You should listen to me first. Mm. They say, no, there's a way I want to do it. I want to do it. And I, how? I say, no, listen to me. Right. When I find out that their voice is getting higher, so I'll calm down right. and allow them. And after a while, I will invite them. Right. I'm a mother. You are my child. Right. I'm a mother of five. I have four boys. And my last daughter is 11 now. Right. You understand? So uh, I've been around. Mm. And not only that, I've been around touching people's lives, reaching out to people's children. So I know how it hurts for children to just be misled. A lot of people have misled our children, a lot of family. Fathers are not there. You see, daddies, it's not enough to pay the school fees. Right. Be there. Be there. It's not enough to provide the food. Be there. Most mm. parents find it difficult to just, you know, discuss with their children. Right. They are not ready to talk with their children. Daddies are not home to really have that family time with their children. Right. And children go out there, they long for this relationship. Mm. So now you see them bending to... How mommy, I want to visit my friend so I can stay over. Right. Just because there's something lacking that they don't have. have. Right, right, so right. Mothers, some of them are not there. Busy talking my hair, what I'm going to wear, mm. my jewelry. And which party ah! they're going to? They're which to, party? Yeah. The latest party? Yeah. My friend's birthday. birthday. Shut up! Yes. Shut up. Shut up and sit up! Yes. 
Don't allow the world to plug out your vision. Right. In your old age, your children will be the one to hold your hands. They will lead you to where you never expected. Mm. They will determine what you are supposed to eat. Ah, mommy, I want to take lifting. Oh, no, um, vomit. They will say, no, it's lifting. Right. Or you take ago. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So if you allow the world to plug them out and the love of things and irresponsibility, mm. you will cry in the day of your old. Yeah. So wake up to responsibility. I find that, you know, parents have lost the value. Mm. They want to be there. They want to rebrand. Right. They want to repackage. Right. And your family is not rebranded. Right. So you're wasting your time. What are you rebranding when your family is in chaos? Family first. Excuse me. Do you already know where your children are right now? When last did you speak with your son? So we are the first God that the children see. Oh. They believe every statement that comes out of your mouth. Right. 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 When you begin to say something else, they say, oh, they learn from you. They learn. And this takes us to parents, wake up. Wake up. Things are getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. This is insane. It's not enough to pray. Let us apply every correctional skill mm -hmm. and measure that can be applied. Mm -hmm. Behavior and behavioral approaches when any behavior becomes unacceptable, it can be unlearned. I love that. Behavior is learned yes. and it can be unlearned yeah, yeah. by proper discipline, discipline. and measures. Yes. Let's stop the folding of hands yes. and see the womb that gives birth to these people bleeding. bleeding. Oh my God. You, you write and you write so beautifully. Mm. I'll let you ponder those words. We'll be right back. Welcome viewers. We're talking the boy child, the girl child. Now we talk a lot about the girl child. Mm. What about the boys? Mm. You know, the boys are getting out of hand. Mm. What gives? Mm. Is even in churches, in social gatherings, anywhere you find yourself, people keep talking about, even in families, the girl child. You keep imparting the girl child. Be a good wife, a good cook, give, give a, 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 a good sex giver. Yes. You know, clean the bedroom. Right. Cook where. And what Is that how you would do in your husband's house? Husband, right. husband, husband. Right, husband. right, right. Then when the, the boy's part is left. Right. Oh. Yeah. Now we have a lot of a bunch of irresponsible boys on the streets. Right. And people take advantage of their ignorance. Because mostly in the family, they don't tutor or train the, the male child. They give more attention to the... You don't teach your, your son how to be a responsible husband, how to be there with the wife, how to provide for home. You see them getting married and still acting money in the house. How can you have a son who is married and you're not feeling footing their bills? bills? Your son should be responsible enough to take care of his wife and responsibility. Nice. So you don't teach your son how to make money. You just teach them how to be on top of the situation. Right. How can you stop on top? How can you stand on top when the foundation is wrong? Yes. You will definitely fall. Right. And after that, you said the woman wants to take over. The woman wants to rule. The woman is here. Yes. When the man is confused, the woman right. will take over. Right. Anytime you find such tussle in a family, I'm the man. You don't need to introduce yourself. Because the woman should know that you are the man. Yeah. It's not all, all, all about money. I keep telling people that this thing is not all about money. You know, I consider marriage or, or relationship, a good relationship to be like, have you ever seen Coke and Fanta? Please, after now, you can go and try it. Right. You know, mix up Coke and Fanta in the container. Okay. You will see the potency of Coke and the potency of Fanta. Hmm. Nobody is struggling with one another. They know their, their space and place. Really? Yeah. Fanta is there. You can see Fanta. You can see the potency of Fanta. You can see Fanta Coke at work. Really? And it cannot be separated. Tell me, tell me what, ha what happens when you mix When Coke you mix Fanta. them, you can never deceive that will separate Coke and Fanta has not yet been discovered. Ah. Oh, nice. Nothing can separate it. Mm. So it means that what happens to the man also should be happening to the woman. Right. 
Whatever you're going through, I should be feeling it. Whatever I'm going through, my husband should be feeling mm. it. So we'll be able to help our children stand. Right, right. So now you said something about the boy child. Yes. He's not told what to do, how to be responsible, how to, be responsible yes, how to make money. And how to make money. Yes. And that affects the marriage. That affects, even before marriage, that affects... He's just told, you said something about, he's just told to be the head. To, be the, to head. be the head. How do you be the head? Without being equipped? Yes. Oh, yes. They only pay their school fees, send them to school, they come back, no values added. So what tips do you have? Let's say we have viewers who are watching, mm -hmm. young adults or, you know, teenagers or whoever, or even mature men who yeah. don't know little things. What tips would you give them to be better men Are from a woman's standpoint? Stand, standpoint. A man should not be on his bed by this hour. What time do you wake up? Do you read? When you study and you open yourself to information and knowledge, you expand. Don't be satisfied with the four corner of your mansion. Right. Your two bedroom flat, your four bedroom flat. No, life is more than that. I want to encourage you to come out of the box. And grow every and day. And grow every day. Come out of the box. There's something happening there. If not, the outside, outside one will swallow you up. Right. Life is bigger and wider, more dangerous and also more beautiful than you can ever imagine. Nice. So choose your lane. Right. So as, as, as children, mm. you know, this boy child, girl child, mm. uh, you said something about your, your kids tell you, listen, mommy. Yeah. And then you're taken aback and you said, I'm the mom. Yeah. But when they start raising their voices, you calm down. You calm down. You know, it means like you are listening yeah. or you're hearing them. You're hearing them say, you know, they're agitated at that point when they're, they're raising their voices. Yeah. But I hear you also saying that you hear them out because you said something about they know what they want. Yes. It might not necessarily be what you want. Exactly. And you have to hear them out. Exactly. So are parents really listening, mm -hmm. talking and listening to their children? Mm -hmm. Most parents are not doing that. You know, when my children were young, I, I don't allow them out. If for, if for any reason my child uh, have the privilege to visit a neighbor, when they come back, I take our time to listen to their conversation because they learn fast. So their conversation and the statement that comes out of their mouth determine whether we allow them to go visit you next time. Nice. Yes, because it is easy for them to borrow a strange language than the one that they're used to. They imitate they faster. Fast. Yeah. So now, yeah. I, I, I'm, uh, it's good to be friendly, but I don't easily make friends. Okay. Because I, I, I love my space. Mm. Even though I really, I'm open to knowledge, I want information, I want to learn more. But if I visit and there's nothing valuable for me, I don't think I should come back. Yeah. So I listen to my children to know where are they coming from. Right. This heat, this conversation, right. this thought, this sudden change, is it that is growing? Or is diminishing? Right. Is he learning something wrong? Oh. Or what he's thinking of will add value to him. Hmm. So I would take our time to ponder on what they say. So you are listening, you I are listen, watching. I'm watching. I know right. the continents of my children. Right. I know when they are happy. All of them. Happy. Yes. Remind us how many kids you have so that I'm viewers a of five, five I've, children. I'm a mother of two, but God took one. I'm sorry, I have uh, three of my children in racing. The fourth one is entering 100 level. My last daughter just celebrated her 10 year birthday, June, last wow. year. So she's on her way to 11. Wow. And she can speak very well. She's so intelligent. Because I open them to information. Sometimes right. I take my sons out. Show me the most beautiful girl here. Nice. So, my, uh, so they can girl. talk to you. They can that's talk your point. to me. Yes. I'm yes. not a tiger. They can talk yes. to me yes. at any time. I'm right. their regular customer. Right. Their number one customer of their life and <laughs> Love their it. me. Love it. So they can listen to me. Even yes. in their school, they know me specially. Yes. Yes. I go to attend to them. Yes. Once I discover that their note is not complete, I get back to the school. When they mark their school and it's not right, I say no. Yeah. Last week I was in their school for mathematics and I said, no, this is not it, this is not it. And the teacher really, we had a good time and we were able to sort out things. Yes. I love it because yes. personally with my mom, I can tell her everything. I yes. could tell her anything mm -hmm. at any point in time. Yeah. We would talk about, even when I was coming up, anything. Mm -hmm. And it actually made me love her. Yeah. And out of respect and love for her, mm -hmm. I behaved myself. Yeah. Because she let me do what I, you know, like what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. Now, for the parents who are listening, 
are now hearing us because people, viewers, always come back with questions. Mm -hmm. In the event that they weren't listening mm -hmm. or talking mm -hmm. or watching, because you have five kids yeah. and you know the countenance of every single solitary one, yeah. you know. So for those people, those parents who haven't been listening, watching, talking, what should they do? Please learn to listen to your children. Yes. These are your future. The children is your life. Your number one investment is your family, your children. Give them the necessary information that they need. Expose them to the right thing. You know, I, I witnessed a place whereby, you know, a, a mother was sending the child to go and listen to what is happening somewhere. Hmm. In a place where people are rioting. Yeah. Say, come, 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 we'll go and listen and come and talk. You can imagine that. That's a very, very educated woman right. sending her son to go and listen to what is happening in the neighboring right. uh, this and so that he can bring report. I dare not send my child no, to do that. Right. Once there is any trouble outside, lock them in. It's not your business. No. Learn to mind your, your business. business. Teach yeah. your children to mind their business. Right. Supervise them. Speak to them. Love them. You know, my children, I told them, in case I'm not there tomorrow, nobody knows. Even mm -hmm. though I don't, I'm not going to die now. I told my sons, I said, there's this thing called post cancer in men. Right. So at this age, start going to the hospital to check. Right. For you, girl, this is how I teach them sex education. education. It's nothing. So at what, at what age is it right to teach sex education for both genders? As early as possible. What do you mean? Hmm. Your children have their phones. Yeah. And sometimes even on my phone, sometimes I just see two naked people making love. Oh. What about if I'm not there, my child bump into such thing? What would be my explanation? I would tell them, this is love making and it is meant for daddy and mommy. Nice. It's not for our boys. Anybody that touches your private part, your private part is your personal property. Right. God gave them to you. Right. And nobody is permitted to touch it. Don't touch me. I told my little girl, you can't touch her. I told my son, if you have a friend, bring them there. They are my friends. So they are, I relate to their girlfriend. I'm not saying the girlfriend that they sleep around with. Sometimes they, are, they could be attracted to the opposite sex. I don't right. say, ah, you are a boy. Why not girls? No. Sometimes there are some certain information that you need that it only is women that will give to you. There are some men that their wealth is tied to women. Allow them be. Have hmm. proper understanding. Don't be too possessive to say, um, it's my husband, no. it's my husband, no. don't go. Yeah, if you want to give my husband, say, I feel like going for a weekend, I pack his bag and arrange it. Go, if you say, I'm coming back tomorrow, I say, stay two days extra. What? Stay <laughs> two days extra. I'm sorry, what? Stay two days extra. <laughs> so you would tell him, you encourage him. I would encourage you to go out there so you have a new environment. Come, come get correct vibes and come back. Oh my God. Why I pray for him. Father, lead him around. Yeah. Protect him. Guide him. Oh, wow. Help him. We need help. I have to what ask you, you though. I have yeah. to ask you, and this might be a little touchy, but we're very real on this show. Very real. So do you, do you say that out of trust for your husband or mm -hmm. do you say that because you're praying? Honestly, Madam <laughs> Counselor, <laughs> because I mean, you're a woman, you know, you know what I mean. Prayer is the foundation of every good thing. Mm. Prayer number one. Right. My attitude, understanding, you know, understanding the place of my husband and his office. Mm. You know, I, I have the understanding of what it does and I know that it needs space. Okay. To nice. acquire more knowledge so nice. I can feed the flux. Nice. So as a result of that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So coming back, that was a set. That was a distraction. Okay. Uh, when we come back, mm -hmm. we'll talk more about the children and what you said about, you know, letting them know that their private parts are private. And I'll tell you a bit of the encounter that I had. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back, viewers. Stay tuned. Welcome back, viewers. We're on the show with Madame Titi Elavel, and I am falling in love with her with every word that she utters. She has pearls of wisdom. She is our mom. She's our guardian. She's our everything. She's a counselor. And before we went on the break, we talked about, you know, molestation. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you this. I promise to tell a story. I went on a date, a first date with a guy and he opened up to me and he said to me that he was molested when he was very young that wasn't the story the story was he said but my mom did not see it do you hear what he's saying mm. 
he blamed his mom for not recognizing that something had changed mm -hmm. in him. What do you have to say about that? I have my views, but I'd like to hear yours. That's quite huge. Mm. But I would like to state here that it's like there's no that there's no smooth relationship between him and the mother. Or the mother is a bit careless. It speaks to what you said about watching the countenance of, of your, your children. children. Psychologically, you know that there's something wrong somewhere right, right. from the way they talk, their body language, right. their face right. and everything. So right. we need to look very well. It was crazy because mm. he kept saying, but my mom, he was not even worried about the molestation, yeah. the abuse. Mm. He kept saying, but my mom, my mom, my mom. And it was a first date. But it would have just opened up conversation with the mother. I, I honestly feel mm. like at that age, he was young. Mm. He was telling me something that happened when he was a kid. Mm. He was young. He expected that she would know that there was something wrong, that the countenance had changed. Mm. And probe and ask questions. Yes. Are you sick? Yes. Is anything wrong? Yes. Yeah. So it is on, you know, on the parent mm. to say, what's wrong? What's going on? Yeah. Talk to me. Talk to Talk me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah. After all, even in love relationships, mm. when we see that our partner seems a little different, we, we don't we care. And even if they say, Oh, I'm okay, and they pretend and try to you be we keep, that. Yes. So mm. yes, we're not blaming the mom, we're not mm. blaming the parents, but we're saying probe, mm. ask more questions because mm. it's impressive when you say that you talk to your boy children mm. about, you know, is she pretty? You're saying this so that they're comfortable enough. Yes, to, to, to be free so that they can communicate with me so they can be free in case there's anybody in their life or there's some, anybody talking to them. If there's anybody talk to, talking to them, <laughs> they let me know. Mommy, that my friend, I said, really? Bring her, let me see her. Okay. So we get her, how are you? Hi, how's mommy? With the father? Right. Where did they work? Right. Where are you from? Right. How old are you? What do you do? Right. What's your passion? Right. Something out of my something you are embarrassing me, mommy. <laughs> Why are you talking to my friend? Guys, if anything should happen to your friend here in my house, right. I will be arrested. Right. So I must know where they're coming from. Right. And I need to talk to them so as to feel more how intelligent they are. Oh my and how God. They are. You are involved yes. as a parent. Yes. That's what you're saying. Mm. The problem is we're out of time but not mm. out of content. Mm. So would you come back and you will come back, Anytime. right? Okay. So because we want to we want to talk more mm. about the boy child and the girl child. Mm. We want to know what to do, what mm. not to do. Mm. We want to know how to be cognizant of mm. our children. We want to know how to treat them better mm. so that it translates to a better society. It starts from the family, yeah. right? Yes. So what, what do you have for us to say goodbye? Mm. Well, it's a privilege talking to the world right now. I'm, I'm quite privileged to be here to have this opportunity to speak out. And I want to encourage every parent to please respect, have some respect for their children. I'm not saying you bow to them. Respect them, make, your, make them your friends. These are your family. First thing first, they are your first investment. There's nothing that you're in. If you go out there looking for the world, you come back home and meet your trouble. If your home, if your bed is not properly laid, <laughs> you will not like it. Make sure you are in good terms with your children. Communicate with them. Allow them to express themselves. Stop lying to them. Don't gossip in their present. Stop making love in their present. Stop kissing your husband too much in their present. Let them know why. And when? Nice. Thank you. For the children out there, talk to your parents. They are there for you and not against you. Whatever will not pull you up is wrong. That's our show. Goodbye. Thank you.